hello, good morning. Um, so a uh, few little cliff notes real quick. Uh, one, I hurt my back somehow a couple of days ago, so I'm really just trying to take things super easy. And on that note, nothing is easier to me than breakfast. So I'm going to do a breakfast what I eat in a day, and I'm going to have breakfast for every single meal today because that's literally the easiest thing that I could do for myself. And I love breakfast, and maybe you'll get some new ideas here. So um, the first thing that I'm going to make today are my waffle tacos. Get before I turn the camera on was my waffle maker. So I had one of those mini waffle makers. I got mine for my mom. I think she got it at Target. They also have it at Walmart. Uh, the Weight Watchers store online has it. Kohl's has them. Amazon has them. They are the Dash waffle makers. They're like $10 and worth it. I've had mine ever since my first year on Weight Watchers and I use it all the time. So definitely a great investment. And then next things, I just realized I forgot one more thing. It's okay. So the first thing that I'm going to get cooking is my hash browns. And this is going to be the filling, part of the filling for my waffles. And I'm on purple, so this is zero smart points. You can have one and a half cups for two smart points, if I remember correctly, on blue and green. So I have a skillet heating up over medium high heat. I'm going to get this going in that for a little bit. I'm not going to measure it out. I kind of just remember what it looks like, but since it's zero points, I'm also not strict with the weight. So, I am using my Weight Watcher skillet. This is the eight inch skillet, I believe. It's non-stick, and all I do is I fill up like the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna season with, okay, anyways, some salt. to be almost uh, Tex-Mexy, like a real taco. So I'm gonna just put some chili powder, a good bit of that in there, a little bit of paprika. I'm not even showing y'all in the right place. <laughs> I have my phone turned the opposite way of what I normally do. Some cumin. And garlic powder. I love garlic, so a good bit of that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and toss that around so it'll all get seasoned and it's defrosted a little bit. So I usually don't even need to use cooking spray or oil or anything. thing I'm gonna work on is the shell for my waffle tacos. So what we're doing is we're gonna cook our scrambled eggs in the waffle maker. Usually I only do two eggs but these are a bit smaller than the ones that I normally get so I'm gonna do three. cooking spray, spray your waffle maker with cooking spray, I'm out and I'm not going to the store just for cooking spray. All right, I'm trying to get this, I'm gonna have to pull this again, there we go, now it's in the shot. Y'all like my Christmas shirt? Time doesn't matter anymore. So 
also, whenever you're cooking the eggs, you don't want to overfill this just kind of to where some of these are covered, but most of them aren't because the eggs do expand as they cook. You don't want to clean up overcooked eggs. So I'm going to get these going. I'm also topping mine today with the jalapeno cheddar Frito dip. You can have two tablespoons for one smart point. I'm not even going to use two tablespoons, but I'm definitely going to count the smart point. So for me, oh yeah, also I got to put my bacon. So this is the bacon that I'm using today. I get it from Sam's Club. I don't know why, but the one from Sam's Club, you can have two slices for one point, but the one from Walmart, it's a point per slice. One point for this, one point for this, zero point eggs for me, and zero point potatoes.
Okay, so I already know that I'm that I love these. These are delicious. I was making them like every day for a while there. But just to prove it to you. So good. I do think that I like it better. I usually use um shredded Colby Jack cheese. It's more points. I definitely think it's worth more points though. I love my Frito cheese, but no, well, this is really good. Also, let's not talk about my quarantine nails. <laughs> I'm a nail biter. I found some glue on nails just hanging out in my apartment and I put them on. I'm very lost. Four out of ten, so at least I haven't gone back to bite even though. So we'll survive. We'll survive. Alright, I gotta go take pictures of this for Instagram. Eat and enjoy it. I'll check in with y'all in a few hours. <clears throat> Alright, so now we are back for lunch. Brunch, whatever you wanna call it. Um Honestly, I was starting to debate whether or not I should continue this because I don't foresee myself getting a lot of veggies in today, but I I really have to work hard to get my vegetables in, to be honest, and that's just my truth, and so I know that there are a lot of people out there that don't like vegetables, and so, you know, I just want those people to know that you don't have to eat vegetables to eat healthier than what you're eating right now or um you know you can still sorry my nose is itching like crazy you can still eat what you love without feeling like you need to eat salads every day or have broccoli at every meal if you love those foods great enjoy them have them love them just for me I don't necessarily eat vegetables every day, and whenever I do, it's usually with a sauce or covered in cheese or something like that. So, anyways, I'm making French toast, so in my bowl right now I just have two eggs. I'm going to add 10 grams of this coffee creamer. I started doing this whenever they released the Funfetti creamer, and at first I wasn't a fan of that in my coffee. I just didn't think that the taste was quite powerful enough for my liking, so I started making French toast with it. And I like it in my coffee. I just get a lighter roast of coffee. So anyways, 10 grams of your coffee creamer. And I've just kind of learned that that, um, it, it gives the French toast almost a um, custard texture. And I am here for that. So I'm gonna add some cinnamon sugar to this. I don't even have a teaspoon in here, but you can have up to a teaspoon for zero points. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit. That was maybe a half a teaspoon. And now you whip up your eggs together. value white bread. It is two points a slice. It scans different than what it is, but it's two points a slice. Um, I, you could use light bread. That's one point a slice. There are some breads that are three points for two slices. I'm dealing with what I got, friends. I'm dealing with what I got. For the first like two weeks of all of this craziness, oh, I have my pan going over medium heat. It's warmed up, so now I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Um, I'm using my Weight Watcher nonstick skillet, so I'm not gonna spray it with anything. It'll be fine on its own. I've just put the bread in here and let let it cover, soak in both sides. Ooh, talking is hard. Ooh, bread is not hard. So. Right. 
So, <clears throat> this is my sugar-free syrup. I put a little bit on the first layer. So normally I tell people to put their syrup on the side because then you get a little bit with every bite. For photography purposes, just gonna drizzle it on there for today. This I found at a local grocery store and I don't know if it's available elsewhere, but you can have, um, I think the two tablespoons is one smart point. So I'm gonna count that as two smart points worth of syrup and then my bread was four smart points. So this is a six smart point. Oh, no. Nope. Point for the creamer. Yeah, seven smart point French toast. Once again, you could make this totally lower. You could omit the creamer. You could forget this and add like berries on top or something like that. I uh, use lighter bread. So many different ways. I'm using what I have on hand and that's where we are right now. That's fine. Better than me using the Mrs. Calendars that's in there right now. That was really good with cinnamon toast. French creamer. Mmm. Oh, also, whenever I do the fun petty creamer, I usually add some cake batter extract in there. So if you do it that way, I suggest that. Alright, I'm gonna go enjoy my little lunch brunch. So, I told y'all that I was debating at lunch whether or not to go through with the breakfast all day deal. Spoiler alert, I'm not. Everything that I could think of to make free all for a third breakfast was just something else that was sweet. Um, the savory ideas that I had were a little bit more high in point. And I just can't stomach anything sweet again. So I really should have better planned for this breakfast in a day. I just, I truly love breakfast so much. And I know that I could make it work if I wanted to make it work. But at this point in my day, I just, I don't want to make it work. So I'm not going to make it work. That being said, I have a lot of food in my fridge. Not a lot, but I have some food in my fridge that needs to be used up. So that's what I'm going to do for dinner instead. Just... Some simple tacos, I think. I have some taco meat that definitely needs to go. And then I have cheese and I have tortillas. So, tacos it is. So, I like to use the Extreme Wellness Olay Wraps. Um, they also have like a carb counter or carb balance. The, they're all one smart point each. So, I'm going to make two tacos. Two tortillas. This is some turkey taco meat that I made earlier this week and um, I didn't have any taco seasoning so I just seasoned it with some chili powder and paprika and garlic powder, salt and pepper, cumin, um, I think that's it. And then I also poured some salsa that I had that needed to be used up as well. So some salsa turkey chicken. Chicken? Why did I say chicken? It's turkey. I don't eat chicken. I just, every time I say that, I get asked why. I don't like the texture. I don't like the flavor. Uh, growing up, my mom was always like a picky eater and she really only ate chicken. So I kind of think that that had a lot to do with it. I just got burnt out on chicken really young, if that is a thing. And then another more major reason, if we're being honest, is because uh, I did try to go vegan there for a couple of years, but it just, out of cheese, I think I could maybe go vegetarian one day. I'm all about the animals. So this is full fat Colby Jack Monterey, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. A uh, eighth of a cup is two smart points and a fourth of a cup is four smart points. I have the points for a fourth of a cup. Like I have six points left for this dinner, two points for my wraps and zero points for my turkey mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest up, up on some cheese 
And then I'm gonna use some Weeklies for my nightly drink. I have some margarita already pre-made in the fridge. So margaritas and tacos. Tastes like a, uh, a huggy, an alcoholic huggy. All right, well, this is my dinner, friends. Easy, peasy, good to go. This is why I like meal prepping. While I might be home a lot more often than most people, like if I have food that I can just pull out of the fridge and heat up, I'm, I'm good to go. Good to go. Mm. Tacos are marred. I also just want to say that it is worth it to spend the points on full fat cheese and that is one thing that I am very grateful of the plur- the per- the the- I'm trying to say the purple pan. That's one thing that I'm very grateful of the purple plan for is that because there were so many more zero point foods I felt a lot more free to spend my points on fat- full fat cheeses and cream cheese and sauces and things like that. And you don't really realize how much of the flavor that you're missing until you go back to it. So I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. This is probably my dessert for the night. I don't see myself eating anything else because it's six o'clock and I'll be in bed in a few hours to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, if I do a dessert tonight, it's probably gonna be popcorn because on purple, air pop popcorn is zero points. So that's super easy and I'm actually going to leave this time. So I hope y'all had a great Easter, a great Sunday. Um, 